This is a great honor for me to introduce Juno So. Uh, Juno is, I would say, one of the most active uh, curators in South Korea. Uh, not just he has his own galleries, but also his work, he works as an independent curator. Most uh, notably, he was a curator for the special exhibition of Busan Biennial three years ago. And last year, he was a uh, director of the one of the largest uh, joint uh, artists in residence program. Uh, he made a, a festival about the artist residence program last year. So uh, please welcome Juno. I'm gonna just uh, send him right next to him just in case for his, um, you know, the language barrier to happen. So please welcome Juno. Thank you, Juno. Uh, Onyo is my company name, and in 2011 March I opened the Space Onyo. Uh, the the slogan under the slogan is uh, the curator laboratory. In Songbukdong, yeah, it's a residential area in South South Korea Seoul. May and June in Korean, also in Chinese May and June same. So I want to reveal many meanings and uh, pronounce pronunciation. So I make some onio. Uh, can you you can see the new word? It means also new word. And May and June is in Korea. May and June is good season, middle of summer. Nobody starving. Uh, no snow. No nobody freezing. It's good season. So I hope the people live in the good season. Yeah. So I made it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of American uh, think that only words like old, you know, new wall. So it's, you know, this is like, like pronunciation in Korea, which means, as he said, like spring season, May and June. Yeah, my first exhibition was in 2003 because of the Iraq war. At the time, I was a representative of the School of Visual Art of the Korean National University of Arts. So I measured art theory at art theory, yeah, that school. So at the time, I was a sophomore. Uh, so every day, I went to the, the demonstration. No war, yeah, stop the war. George Bush, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Yeah, so at the time I saw, saw the one student draw a paint, painted uh, the, about the war. So I decided to make an uh, exhibition because I have money, <coughs> yeah, students' money. So I curated the exhibition uh, with open call. So 12 students applied and all 12 students participated in the exhibition. The title was About the World. And then uh, my school was quite new, so I'm the fifth student. At the time, yeah, one of my professors told me that, you know, this is the best exhibition uh, of the, the, my school history yeah, because my school is new, yeah. <laughs> so I decided that I will be a curator in when I was 20, 24, 24 years old, yeah. And then next year, I went to the military service for two years and two months. I went back to school again in 2006. So, and then, yeah, I uh, did like some independent curator. Actually, I worked for many galleries and museums as a the wall painter and carpenter and uh, installer, installer, yeah. And then, but I curated my own exhibition every year, twice or three times, and applied some fund. Yeah, like that, yeah. Um, I'm very curious. I was very curious. 2006, uh, before then, I didn't know nothing, yeah. But after military, I'm getting old. 
So I'm starting to thinking, where am I? Why my home, my home con country is like this? Yeah. And then when I'm growing, growing up, uh, all my life I saw the change of Korea. Yeah. I think many people like that. Asian still changing very fast. So I wondered, yeah, where am I? Uh, how is the soul? So I want to see the soul. But soul is quite big, so I studied about the urban theories. Yeah. So first question was like that, where am I? Then where do we go? Where do I go? Then what, do I, what should I do? That was my first question. Yeah. The question follows another question. Yeah, make another question, question. Still, I'm asking. So where am I? I'm in Asia. Actually, it's Songbukdong. Yeah, it's residential area. It's rich people's area also. Songbukdong, Seoul, Korea, Asia. So I studied about that. Seoul also, and later I studied about Asia also. Where do we go? But every city changes, but I don't know the goal. But I think Japan is kind of future of Korea. Japan is 20 years further than South Korea. But China catching South Korea. And Myanmar is 25 years later than uh, like than South Korea. So cities' image is changed. So I want to know where we go now. Manhattan, New York? I don't know. I don't think so. But whole Asia country cities, buildings and environments are all new. The, my friend's friend told me that, you know, everything Seoul is are new, even palace. Is correct, yeah. So I'm wondering where we go now. In 2007, I did a project in Itaewon. Itaewon is like a Kaosan Road in Thailand. So there are many the foreign people, and around there, the, the American army base was there, in, still in there. And then many the foreign communists there. And then the, the gender um, community, yeah, homosexual community in there. And the sexual industry was there, many bars. It's kind of very the tiny soul. It's yeah. Itaewon is part of the area in the middle of the soul because of the, due to the United States Army has based there for the last 60 years, since the Korean War, 70 years. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of you know, bars and other prostitutions for foreigners and for US soldiers. And there are a lot of, due to the reasons, there are a lot of foreigners come there to live there. Uh, so it's, I th in, in a way, it's mostly, uh, I would say, liberal. You see a lot of you know, open-minded, you know, like as you, as you said, like homosexual, gay bar is, is, wasn't, still is not in, like common in Korea, but you know, Itaewon area is, is quite, you know, common. So you can see, you know, the, the yeah, trait of the area. Yeah, Itaewon was so very special area of Seoul. So the, traditionally, historically, the, the Itaewon was the, uh, Qing Dynasty's area, the Qing Dynasty military area. After then, the Japanese colony, colonial army base was there. After then, the U.S. Army was in there, still in there. So I did it. At the, at the time, I was 28 years old. I'm just, yeah, I'm still a rookie curator. At the time, was, I didn't know much. So I invited four artists, and I'm... I planned four seminar with uh, scholars, so I, we did it like that. Yeah. 
But at the time, I couldn't control the artists. So they uh, work. They didn't work much. They did. They work not much. Yeah. So actually, at the time, I bring a broad proposal to many galleries, many art spaces in Seoul, but all galleries reject rejected. Yeah, I was re rejected. So I borrowed, I rented the, the guest house, small guest house. Mm. So a lot of people think that this sun is, you know, stands for like coffee shower or something. This is actually motel with the bath, like hot baths. So. Yeah, it's in Itaewon. Um, mostly the, the immigrate labels stay there. Filipinos, the Chinese, Mongolian, uh, temporarily they stay in there. Actually, uh, no Koreans stay there. So it's kind of sort of the very secret place. So I rented and made an exhibition in there. The one artist made a hi, how are you doing in Korean many times. So it's the first word, like the greeting in Korea. So he, this is important. He thought, he thought that it, this is important, yeah. So this was when an artist imagined the less light of the people in, in the motel, yeah. Very tiny room. So I rented two weeks and I stayed in there. I slept in there because I, I I'm not married. I wasn't married at the time. And some audience came. We sit, sat on the, the bed and we talked like, like this. Yeah. But quite, quite, many, quite many, many people came to see that show, but they didn't know even, they couldn't imagine this motel in Itaewon. Yeah. To 2008, Itaewon, Itaewon, people think, the Korean people think that the Itaewon is a quite dangerous area. Before you were the pop stars, they sang the Itaewon freedom, so, and then Itaewon is very, became a hot place, yeah. In 2008, quite big changes occurred in South Korea. The, another president elected, uh, name is Lee myung Bak. He's, uh, he's very skillful to shoveling. Yeah. So at the time, I thought that uh, I have to do many things against him. Yeah. So I'm, in 2009, I made a, the show, an entire spirit of time thinking. So I, I invited nine artists about a work about the society. So I just want to ask, I wanted to ask her, what should we do with art? So I invited a short film director and painters, the activist, the singer, yeah. And I made this show. In the middle of Seoul, I made a black card, the only the black, black card. At the time, the, the time is, I thought that is very dark. So I made only black, black card. So the, the guy here is the former president of so, uh, South Korea. His name is Myung Bak Lee. Uh, He's evil. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people really <laughs> um, don't like him due to, because first he's, he you know, promised us to build kind of, you know, we build like four major river by making dams and he pulls like billions of dollars uh, just to, you know, his concept was to revive the, the river, but was, river was okay. But he, somehow he liked to, you know, make some strange contribution. And I, a lot of people still guess uh, there must be a, a big corruption there because he spent a lot of money there, but you never, like, you know, never know where does the money goes and went. So, uh, still, yeah, he, people, a lot of people really don't like him. So he made a first, I think, politically oriented, not first, but, uh, you know, but at Korea is not, at that time, was, wasn't that, you know, 
politically oriented in uh, for artists, at, at least for artists, not politically oriented situation. I think uh, he's one of the few people who really make art activity against social, you know, political corruptions. I guess, yeah. So and then I met a show with the six artists uh, staying in Huigyeongdong. So I titled the exhibition name Huigyeong, but the different meaning. The Huigyeong means uh, dis disappearing landscape, evanescent landscape. So they, the Huigyeongdong, actually Huigyeongdong was the destroyed for the redevelopment. So old, old, old houses destroyed. So, uh, I made uh, the show in the Buan Yawan title is Buan Yawan. Also, it was the form was originally it was the Yawan uh, motel. Yeah. Since Japanese colonial era, so I made a one artist made a the mountain image with a cement with concrete, and one artist invented a new flower, the burning ground flower. So. I, I like the pun, yeah. I'm like I want to I'm like to play with words, yeah, meaning mixed meanings. So I discussed many times with him, yeah. So he made, he invented the new flower, yeah. The flower only bloom in the destroyed land, yeah. And one artist made a very normal house with a clay. Uh, yeah, right, yeah, clay. And then she put the, she put the clay house in the water basin. Then time goes by, it goes disappear, yeah, collapse. Finally, like that, like that. It I th I thought that I thought this work represented the real house's destiny. Yeah. And then this was the actually uh, right against the President Lee Myung Bak, Lee Myung Bak's Four River project. So I titled the Peace Like River. So I invited the 15 artists, photographs, the singer, band, illustrator, the webtoon, comics, comic writer, and to show how how much we hate him, hate his project. So this was the South Korean peninsula, South Korea. You can see the four white line. Uh, this is artist name is Gon Youngju. He has solo show in Chelsea now. Yeah, he yeah he currently has uh, his own solo show in Chelsea called uh, it, the gallery name is Dusan Gallery. Is um, yeah you can uh, yeah you should have a check uh, take a look. Yeah. Yeah. This. Exhibition was in 2009, July 11th. Yeah, and then one artist made a shangria with wine, put a big glass cup, and he made it being rotten naturally. Then, in the space, people can very uh, smell yeah, bad smell. So he shows how the Rivers going dead, yeah. <coughs> so this is the, the Egyptian scape. Like that. Uh, this is the Lo Sun Tech's work. He's um, most famous photograph now, yeah. And the one, the broadcasting systems producer, he should, he made a documentary about the, the nature. So he could take a uh, picture in the helicopter. So he thought, thought um, the landscape of the Four River project like uh, Earth art. Yeah. So he made a work in there. I also made a one work. Yeah, I, pro I suggested my friend to go to the river with a shovel by my motorcycle. We just follow the dump truck 
big trucks and to the, the construction site. And uh, I, asked, I told them, we are volunteer, so we want to help you. Yeah. They allowed to enter it. Yeah. So I saw the landscape. But 10 years ago, I went there by bicycle. I traveled whole South Korea. By the time there was beautiful, yeah, actually really beautiful area, but they screwed up, abandoned, abandoned, destroyed, yeah, destroyed. So I was so angry. And then they made a the <coughs> big sand mountain. Actually, yeah, that in that work, I can. I only show, I can only show we are a powerless. So you can find it in YouTube, yeah. And in 2011 March, I opened the space onion in Songbuk. Actually, my first space onion was 24 square meter. The, I, I think it was the, the smallest gallery in Seoul. The first show, show was about the city. The, this also, the title was kind of pun. Yeah. The English name is Recall the City. So I invited five artists in 24 square meters. <laughs> Actually, during that time, many, the Korean government destroyed many buildings, many old stadium and old highway. So artists rec recorded. I then I showed it, yeah. And then I decided to do with the village people and with artists also. Yeah. So I made a festival in Songbukdong. And open call, <clears throat> actually there are many art festivals in Seoul, but I can I couldn't participate in it. And my most of my friends cannot participate in it. Because we are not a established shit and not famous. So festival is not fun for us, for me. So I decided to make my own festival. I open call to the artist without judge. Artists can only sus subscribe submit. and submit the application. They can participate in. So normally the 150 artists and 20, 200, yeah. Then we made a performance and I want to make fun time with the village people and uh, all artists. Yeah, the, like that. And in, in the middle of the village, we made a performance, music performance and Many things and poetry event also. So I call I named it May Fest. Every May I did it for five times. Uh, in Korea, everything is very competitive. Uh, you know, there's you know standard exam is very competitive, <clears throat> and whole society is built upon competition and competition. So it was kind of the opposite way to inviting artists without any. Uh, you know, process of judging whether it's good or not. So he makes something that is welcoming for everyone. Actually, I have taste, but I believe that, huh? I have taste, yeah. I believe that every artwork is good, yeah. I'm still learning about that, yeah. Um, when I was younger than now, I hate some works, but other people love that works. So I'm not right every time. So I'm, I believe every works are good. So the title, the one program name is Let's Hang Whatever You Can Carry. And another one is BYOB, Bring Your Own Beamer. So normally 120, 130 people, art, artists participated. And I projected the uh, projected every video works on the early words, not in the inside, on the road, another building, so it looks good. 
quite good. Yeah. And in front of that, we made a performance, very unique, special performance. Performance. He is really anti-government, anti-capitalism, something. Yeah, but he's quite funny, really funny. And um, <clears throat> I hired eight artists. Actually, I invited insane. I gave money to them and asked them to spend one month with uh, the village shops, village anything cafe. Then you, then I asked them to make. Uh, you can make your solo show, or you can only talk with uh, the owner. Then anything you can make after one month. Then one artist uh, with the concert at the uh, small. Piano Institute, and one artist made a, a rest place in the flower shop, and one artist prepared a, another sh shop for the, the building owner. Right there, yeah, 2014. This was my. This was that poster. Yeah, and this was the less year was the fifth year, so we asked to the artist and we sent to the postcard to make artwork and send back again, send back to us, and we made an exhibition with that. It's very small, but people like it. Yeah. And we sold it. Uh, one piece was ten dollar, so we almost sold. Yeah. Uh, she is your collector, Sujin.
Yeah. And I worked with the village people many times. So we, one, with one artist, we made a talk show with the village people and made a video work and showed it in, at the gallery. I also participated in the talk show as a panel. The show was like that, and another talk show. Even uh, we made a gallery as a the studio, so we invited the village people to make a short a talk show, yeah. talk concert. Yeah. And I asked to the village people, eight, eight, eight village people, to borrow their own the photographs, very old photographs. Uh, took in the Songbukdong. Uh, I saw that I saw the to show the people's photograph of Songbukdong can show Songbukdong's history. So we made a photograph show. Actually, she she was one year younger than me. Uh, now she is uh, now running uh, the Plates Studio in Songbukdong. So the, the the old photographs can show the old Songbukdong, Songbukdong histories. The 108 pieces were shown. And I did like that, then the Songbuk, the local uh, cultural foundation asked me to make uh, the public project. So uh, I did, the, under the highway, Abandoned, there were empty spaces, very dirty, abandoned. So we renovated and made a many performance programs in there, exhibition also, a flea market, like, you know, and the permanent installation also. It was very dark. Um, sometimes criminal occurred, crime occurs. Yeah. So I want to make that bright. I asked them asked to some artists to the light, to light that, yeah. Yeah, flea market and with artworks and the exhibition. It's kind of a museum work. The one artist collected the people's treasure, something. The, the old, um, old woman's, the son's shirt. But 40 years old shirts like that, he showed it. And many performances is here. And we made a lecture program, 10 times lecture program, because I did the culture activity, act activity in Songbukdong for five years. The land coast raised the top three times, four times. So I realized that there was the gentrification. So many artists, many cafe, restaurant opened in Sambukdong. Yeah, so I made a lecture about how we do with the gentrification. So I invited the sociologist and the, the journalist, the philosopher, and, but we don't make, a, we don't get the answer yet. And also we made uh, some very symbolic sign in Jeju Island, like that, yeah. In 2011 was the 10 year anniversary of Afghanistan war, but though Koreans are not, inter Koreans not interested in the Afghanistan war, but that, that war wasn't ended. So I want to make people know it. War is not over yet. So I'm, the, by chance I met a, the American friend. He was the marine photo photographer in Pakistan and Afghanistan. So I selected his works and showed it in my gallery. Yeah, it's like, a, it's about, it's not about the war. It's, the people just greeting something. And to, I wanted to show the people's life in there, yeah. Soldiers' life also. 
So the one, the abandoned the, the shoe was the, not American, it was Russian. The artist used the sound, so the, the heart beating and light sync, sync the heart beating and light uh, at the gallery. At the time, the fire, firemen came to us and the policemen came to us, what happened here? Yeah. So people liked it, yeah. Yeah, I did many projects, actually, yeah, I just showed that. Yeah, just glance it, yeah. And with uh, many Asian artists also, Taiwanese, um, Austrian, many the subject, with many subjects, uh, Switzerland. In 2015, June, I started uh, another gallery again. It was, the, the name is Ijuhan. It is 80, almost 80 years old house. Yeah, because everything is new in Seoul, so I bought it. Yeah. So With he the purchased the one of the oldest traditional uh, house in Korea and turned into a, a gallery space. It, it looks like it. Yeah. And the, unfortunately, last March I closed the former space only one. Yeah. It's the, the whole. The subject related with the, the redevelopment, the social problem, yeah. like that. And then 2014, 2014, the Korean in Korea, the ferry sank. Many students died. So seven designer groups made the posters, and had a, they made a, the exhibition in the, my Ijuhan. Yeah. People can get the poster. People can take the poster. It's again about against about the, the government. And Jay had a exhibition, solo exhibition in 2015. The object theory, like this. Later, you explain your work. Yeah, later. And 2016, uh, last August, he had a solo exhibition again, another uh, gallery, space only one, yeah, like this. And last May, the, Sujan, the Professor Sujan Anker and Hugh Rennie had a show in Ijuhan, like this, yeah. This is Sujan's work, also Sujan's work, and Sujan, yeah. And Hugh, he really made a performance at the, the opening day. In 2009, nine, I, luckily I could go to Myanmar first time with my professor. Actually, I didn't want, want to go there, but my professor forced me to there and translate. Actually, my English is not good, but yeah. But luckily, I saw I was so shocked, yeah, because I, it, the Myanmar's landscape reminded me the 30 years ago Korean landscape. Yeah, I just I remember the, the old market landscape and smell. Yeah, so I reminded that the article when I was 13 years old at the barber shop. I read a. The one article, the title was Asia is under construction. But still under construction. I saw. So I might I set up my Asian project title was uh, under construction. But unfortunately the Japan Foundation did under under construction project in two thousand, year two thousand already. So I changed my title, still under construction. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Yangon River in Myanmar, the former Burma. Yeah, it's very interesting, impress, impressive. You can, you can see the, the only really real life in there. Yeah. The, the buildings are very, very old. 
the pains are leaked. Mm. And the monks always go forward. And every heritage is preserved well because they are stuck in the world. They didn't get the didn't get the tourist. So they didn't have a they they didn't I think until now, I mean they don't mm. have many tourists. Mm. But to that, so mm. that's the why they preserved right. all the heritage pretty well. The the military dictators uh, closed the whole country until 2011. 2011, Aung San Suu Kyi released and they got the power. But still, the military got the power, so everything is preserved well. This is Bagan, the, the north south north part of the Myanmar. And this is the Shedagong Pagoda. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. So uh, since 2009, I was curious about whole Asian countries. So I went to Cambodia, Laos, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Taiwan, whole Vietnam by the Korean government's money. I'm, yeah, I'm very poor, so I always apply and failed many times, but even I got the chance, I go there, I went there. So I went to Phnom Penh five times as you know, Phnom Penh has a very tragic, tragic history, 1975 to 1979. Almost one third people was killed by the Pol Pot, the Khmer Rouge. So still people scared to learn the word, language, because in the killing field time, the all intelligent people killed. So they, even the wear glasses, people killed. So people are afraid to run the world. So you, in theory, if you are able to write and read, uh, you are supposed to get killed. It's what he said. Myanmar opened 2011, but Cambodia opened 1993. But Cambodia is a, a more further than Myanmar, but I thought all countries of Asia stand in one line, but different time. The Japan is further, 20 years further than Korea. China is similar with Korea. The Myanmar is 20 years later than Korea. Cambodia is 10 years later than Korea, we all stand in the one line. So we, I think the Asian artists and curators, we can talk about ourselves. We can explain ourselves to understand, to make people, another people understand their situation. Then we can, I can find a way, I can find the answer of the where we go. We can imagine, yeah. Or we can imagine how, where we go, where we go. So I'm doing, a, yeah, still doing, but I didn't finish yet. But if I get the fund and then get the venue, I will finish with a whole Asian artists and curators. So during the eight years, I went there without project. I went to the some galleries and art spaces. I just went there and I want, to, I came here, just wanted to be a friend with you and I want to talk with you. So I'm doing it so, you know, until, still. At the time, the Cambodian, the normal labels, the salary is $100 a month, same. But st Still same, but 19, 1960s and 1970s Korea was the salary was one hundred dollar seventy dollar. The situation was really same. So I thought, yeah, we stand in one line. They are very young, even seventeen years girls. They are working at the factory, foreign companies' factory. 
in Phnom Penh, I saw the, the North Korean embassy. So we, called the, we saw the, the flag. I'm a little bit scared because we talking with the North Korean is illegal by the South Korean law. So in there, really important gallery, yeah. A space in there, Sasabasa. The director is American, Erin Gleason. So they introduced me many Cambodian artists and activists. Also in Cambodia, many uh, the foreign capi capital companies came into the Cambodia and they redevelop. They want to redevelop the some sites. Yeah, they have to. A very similar problem with the Koreans. And this is the, the Killing Field Museum. Every in the building, everything is the skull, bones, yeah, people. It's very sad, yeah. So in the Mekong River, actually I dreamed about I dreamed to be a Indiana Jones American movie, yeah. <laughs> So with my friend, artist, we went there and we planted rice seed. One of my friends um, started to a project in Asia. He made uh, the sugar in Taiwan by himself. Uh, Myanmar in small gold, Cambodia in rice, uh, Indonesia in wood table, China in chopstick. Every country he made the things, product by himself. He, now he is exhibit in Venice Biennale in Korean Pavilion now. <coughs> so the, the artist, his name is Iwan. He is currently <coughs> representing, I mean, I guess some of you went Venice Biennial this year. He is representing South Korea. And the video where he made with him, he, they went together, uh, whole sites. And he made a, a, a Korean, a, a traditional meal but when we, when we think about traditional Korean meal, there's a rice from different country, chopstick from China and rice from Taiwan. So everything is kind of, you know, the one meal is, is, is consists of merit from, you know, things from different countries. So he like went there specific, you know, location to make a sugar chopstick in China. He made a, you know, rice in Taiwan, something like that. The, they, he showed the process of the, of his, Acting, it shows the situation of each country. So you see, the, at that time in Cambodia, the one artist, the Cambodian artist, uh, guided us. Now he's participated in cassette documenta this year, also Samnam Kube Samnam. Yeah, we drank whole night. What is art? <laughs> what should I do? Yeah. yeah the red one. He is Samna, yeah. He's very, very famous now. So he's very busy. He <laughs> doesn't want to meet me now. <laughs> so I went to Laos also. And this is Laos landscape, Vientian, yeah. I find it, I found, I went to every art gallery. So finally, the, I went to the M Gallery. It's this owner, this gallery's owner is Singaporean. But it, actually it was closed. But uh, in there, two women was in there. So they asked me to come, come in, yeah. So she is the only curator of Laos. Yeah, Misuda Hiang Sokun. He participated the uh, Singapore Biennale in 2013 as a Laos curator. So very luckily I met her. So he, she showed every the, the Laotian art scene to me. Yeah. And Daris, Daris, Marisa Darisa, Darasabad participated in uh, Singapore Biennale in 2013 also. This is the National University of Laos, the sculpture department studio. We are very happy now. Yeah. The gallery is like this. Yeah. <laughs> This is classroom, the galleries, yeah. the national gallery. Here is Penang, and this is Vietnam, Vietnam, Singapore, 
I went to the, the, the Singapore the Mod Your Mother Gallery. Actually, there is a one the curator director name is Jeremy Hia made a, his own gallery in his his house, Your Mother Gallery. Yeah. It's actually it's not the gallery. Yeah. People can sleep in there. They only sit in there and talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Just yeah, hang out in there. And I met Lee Wen. Just to still I went every country to meet people and I now I pr propose to them to work together something. Yeah, this is here is Jakarta. Jakarta Ruang Grupa, the project space. In Thailand in 2013, yellow shirts. Yeah, great yeah, demonstration in there. So I share this three under construction. Now I'm still going on and on and on. I will, yeah, I will finish it. So I met some project in Myanmar, Cambodia, with an artist, yeah, every country's artist. In Japan, Taiwan is about the Asian industrial history with Japanese artists and Taiwanese, Korean. Yeah. In, yeah. Actually, I did over 300 projects. People think that I'm very weird, strange. But I think this is my job. I'm still want to find an answer. Where am I? But every time to Korea, Seoul is changing. Every country are changing. So I think I have to ask again and again and again. Then we can, or we can imagine our future together. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, South Korean don't worry about North Korea. They don't care about anything about North Korea. Even actually, I don't watch the news, news television news. I, sometimes I read the newspaper, but I don't believe the newspaper. It's kind of the political play. So North Korea, Kim Jong Un and Trump, the president USA, I don't believe them. Yeah, it's just kind of play. Yeah. Also. Um, South Koreans are not interested in North Korea. Yeah. Even they don't want to unify. So recently I went to the Byeonsan Peninsula. It was really beautiful. The foods are great, the seafood, yeah. the prawn, <laughs> the crabs, raw fish, and the beautiful mountain beach. Sorry, I don't, I don't know about this place. <laughs> and actually, my hometown is Busan. Busan is also beautiful. Busan is better than Seoul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I really want to do some project with a North Korean artist, but it's illegal. Oh, it's in South Korea, not North Korea. Yeah, yes, so with South Koreans and with yeah. also with North Korean. I want to uh, dig in the histories. The Korean, the modern history is very tragedy. Also, similar with the Cambodia. The, the, during the Korean War, many people killed by, not, the, not by the military, by the own, other people, only people. The, because of the religion, religion, because of the ideology. So I can, want, I want to study with uh, some history with North Koreans perspective and South Korean perspective together. Before our ex-president Lee myung -ba, people didn't interest it, people are not interested in the politics because we didn't know that those our former president were good. Now I miss him very much. Yeah, because Lee myung -ba, our Ex-president, wake up the people, wake up the people. So before then, yeah, I also 
because I studied the, the foreign curators, I yeah, respect the many curators, David Rose. I, the, I uh, uh, researched about the, the Whitney Biennale in 2093. It's very um, kind of postmodern, postmodernism, yeah. But yeah, 2008 candle demonstration and last year actually the Korean people kicked up the kicked up the president and they changed the government. So, but nowadays, um, my interesting about politics is go down. Actually, my professor was was used to. Marxist, not now. So uh, when I was a the university student, undergraduate, um, yeah, the, many the philosophers, Marx, Lenin, Stalin, <laughs> who, and well, Dave, David, David, David Harvey, the American scholar, and Zizek, well, Lacan, yeah, so. Many the theories informed me and to research about more things. But I'm not a scholar. I'm, I want to be a curator, actually good curator. So I want to see the actual site. I want to meet the actual person, actual people in real situations. So now still I'm informing by the people like you. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there are many the curator groups, but I'm I'm alone. <laughs> so I never work for the, the institution, government institution, you know, like museums, the, the national museum or something. Yeah, I'm because I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. So. I have a chance to get a prize. It's about the critic the writing. Critic writing is uh, I was the finalist, the one of the three. But I saw the one competitor. He was the same age with me, and he's very clever. So I gave up the gave up to get to get the prize. So I wrote uh, what I want to do, what I want to write. Yeah, it's very not the mainstream. I wrote about the B, B level galleries at show and very um, political ar artist, old, nobody care. I wrote, I interviewed him and I just wanted to ask him, how did you survive? How did you survive? Yeah. He still work, but he cannot sell any works. So I asked him, actually, yeah, I did like that. I don't care, yeah. Oh, is this still changing? <laughs> because, yeah, E1 was my, was my best, but change, yeah. E1 is good, and Nosun Tech is good, and, <clears throat> You want to know some tech? That's one. one. And what about one leaf? His Does what? Make one leaf? Yeah, that was his uh, the first. So what about this artist who made you want? He, he made a, his own product in every country in Asia. He, yeah, he, he's the guy who made a like traditional Korean meal. At Venice, he, he showed that the same video, but with other, these kind of clock to act together. So it, it was more popular in his, but um, he made a video work that was, you know, about making a meal from, you know, from his own, by, by himself, but from different countries. And what would be your second artist you want to show your potential He's his photographer and very much interested in political history, 
in Korea, I guess. Suntek no, Suntek no, yeah. S U N T A G. Suntak is kind of Sunday, yeah, in Deutsch. And N O H. <laughs> oh, oh, one. Yeah, I normally always pick up the three or five good artists, but yeah, recently I didn't, yeah, because the changing situation was changing. It's always changing, right? But it's I like yourself and see what see what inspires them. Um, it's a satisfy satisfy month. Tagi man Self yes, self uh, self self-esteem. Actually money is important also, but yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> Koreans established art the even yeah who can sell artworks. Um, yeah, but I work with Suja Kim and several good artists, but yeah, they are good, but not my best, yeah. Money to survive, yeah. surviving is. Money in what way? What way? Uh, I think in Korea there is no art market, so young young artists cannot sell their artwork. So when I plan to make a art market in Korea for young artists, since 2013, so from 2016 I made a art fair, union art fair, is the, the artist art fair. Yeah, so I'm trying to make art art market in Korea also. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much.